Hi, I'm Pete Sodney with Colorado Home Sales Inc. And this is our fix and flip at uh, 1631 South Chase Street. And I'm here with Mike Bensendick, our associate. Hello everybody. And it's his first fix and flip. So he's partnered with me and come check out our house. This is day one. So walking into our living room, this was not actually that terrible. Um, it's got kind of grayish carpet. We're, uh, one of the nice things is, is that this era of construction, there's hardwood floors below this. So we're gonna take up all the carpet and hopefully we can refinish the hardwood floors. Now Mike's favorite part of the house, Mike, why don't you show us the awesomest part of this house. The coolest thing about this house is it's all been rigged with an intercom system running throughout all the rooms. This is an original new tone from the 50s, complete with built-in eight track and turntable. It's so cool, I almost can't bring myself to get rid of it. And actually, I don't think that we're gonna get rid of it uh, just because it's a really cool feature. And I don't think it's gonna be something that'd be detrimental to the sale. If, uh, because we have a really aggressive market, we can kind of leave some things like that. And it's just in such good shape and it's been there for 50 years. I can't bring myself to tear it out of the wall. Moving throughout the home. You'll see here we have the kitchen. And we were still 50-50 on whether we were gonna tear out the kitchen cabinets. I think in this particular flip, we are gonna do that, even though they're in great shape for as old as they are. Um, but there's not a lot of boxes, it's a small kitchen. We're working with a very limited budget here, so we're not gonna do anything like take out any walls or anything like that. Plus the fact that this house was built in the 60s, there's probably a decent chance that there's some asbestos in the drywall and so forth. Uh, we're obviously gonna get new appliances. Um, Come on, Pete, leave it. <laughs> <laughs> and moving on through the rest of the house, we'll do some simple things, changing out all the gold hardware. Um, in this house, we'll probably go to brush nickel since we're gonna go with the white shaker cabinets. Um, continuing through here, we'll start with the subsequent bedroom. As you can see, our floors are in incredible shape. Um, and if you're watching our video series, you'll know that uh, we just go with an old based uh, paint and prime these doors, get them white so that they're modern, and change out our uh, custom light fixtures that we have from 1955. Moving throughout, we have a bathroom that's in impeccable shape, but uh, very pink. Um, tub is cast iron, so I can refinish the tub instead of replacing it. Um, obviously, we'll have to tear out all the drywall and so forth with the tile and linoleum floors. Moving on through the rest of the house, we have our master suite with built-in intercom speakers. Um, this is a very large room for this era of construction. In fact, it's so large that it's actually two bedrooms. As you can see, there's a beam here. Um, and this was one bedroom. This was the other bedroom. And in the hallway, I'll show you where there was an actual door that split the two apart. My comps are four bedroom, two bath comps. So I have to get to a four bedroom, two bath. So I absolutely have to, in the case of a flip, get this extra bedroom back in. Well, the county records were never actually updated to reveal that it was a three, two, as opposed to a four, two. So no permits were even pulled on this original construction. So it'd be nice to restore it. As far as the wood paneling is concerned, um, you would be amazed what this stuff looks like when we painted our wall color. Um, our other option is to tear it down or just simply just get some half inch drywall and uh, quarter, quarter inch drywall and drywall right over the top of it. Here you see our old door to the old bedroom, which is now a closet. So we would make that back into our opening into the bedroom. And going back throughout the rest of the home, I can't go that way. Oh, yeah. going down into the basement. <laughs> Nothing says welcome home like red and brown carpet. Um, and of course the sparkly ceiling. We have a lot of space down here. Um, we have a fireplace, which is a nice feature. Uh, that is not a real brick, it's a veneer, but we can still paint that instead of replacing it. And we have a very unique bathroom.
with its own sitting stool. Thanks for watching our video series, and uh, please subscribe to our channel.